Hey, what's up, baby girls? How's everybody doing? Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing super, super well today. Welcome to another video. And for today's video, we do have a French nail design. So this is going to be a little different from your usual French. But let me first walk you through the products that we're going to be using today. Um, for today, we're going to be using Pink Me Nude. You guys know this is a beautiful pinky nude. If you guys have it in your collection, it's you guys know how beautiful it is. It's really, really pretty. Um, and it pretty much suits every single skin tone. It looks pretty on every single skin tone. You guys know how. I'm a brown biscuit here myself. <laughs> and it looks pretty good on myself. So I really like it. And... Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply it here on the index nail, on the pinky. Well, it's pretty much going to go all throughout the nails. But on the ring finger, no, I'm sorry, on the pinky, I think, and the middle nail, we're going to be doing kind of like a color blocking, semi-color blocking. Um, you're going to see what we're going to be doing later on. But all of these nails are going to be Frenchies with color blocking. You're going to see that. Um, and it looks so so pretty you guys. I had this vision in my head and I'm like, you know what? I need to do it But then I'm like, no, what if it doesn't look cute? What if it's just like too much? But then I'm like, no me quiero quedar con las ganas. Like, let's just do it Let's just go for it and let's see how it comes out So I did it. I loved it and here we are today <laughs> So yeah, i'm also using my 3xl square tips. You guys know these are like so so um, easy to use you don't have to cut the sidewalls or anything like that like we used to back then um, You just glue them on cut to desired length and that's about it. We do have um, The 2xl's coffin and square and we have the 3xl's coffin and squared as well. We also have um, The long stiletto tips. I haven't done any stiletto nails. I need to do some stiletto nails I've been wanting to and I haven't so hopefully sometime soon i'll do a set using those tips we'll see you guys i still don't have anything in mind but we'll see um so yeah uh what else what else what else what else am i gonna be using today oh yeah i'm also using my number 14 kalinsky brush um i think this one is already sold out if i'm not mistaken uh it's such a good brush you guys i really really love it I'm still debating whether I should keep it on the website and grab some other ones or just grab some other ones and that's it. You know what I mean? Because I know that a lot of a lot of you love these brushes. So maybe if I keep these on the website, the only thing that's going to change is the color of the handle um, because, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I'll see. I'll see you guys. I'll keep you guys posted on that. But yeah, this is pretty much what we're going to be doing today. Um, I'm just going to be applying the acrylic or the nude here in real time. I haven't been speeding it up. You guys know that by now. Um, my acrylic application is in real time because I know that it's been helping out a lot of you guys. So yeah, you're going to be seeing this part in real time. The only time... Or the only part that it's gonna be sped up is when I go ahead and encapsulate the nails um, but other than that everything else well the acrylic application <laughs> is in real time uh, so pretty much this is it you guys um, my acrylic application is pretty simple I began on the apex area the apex area is where you glue on your nail tip to your natural nail um, I just start to bring down the product gently, not making any harsh movements or anything because then you're just going to bring the whole product off the nail and you're just wasting product. So yeah, I'm just doing that. So you guys can see here what I'm doing. For example, I placed down my bead. This is a pretty large bead, I would say, but since these nails are pretty long, um, it doesn't go all the way down. If it were to be like a medium size nail, I'm pretty sure that it will be able to cover the whole nail. Um, so I just bring down the product as much as I can. Um, and if there's more product needed at the tip, then I go ahead and place another bead there. Um, this is pretty much what I do, you guys. Um, this is what you see in my acrylic application each and every single time So I hope I'm not boring you guys with this. I really hope um, I'm actually helping somebody out there or somebody who's an 
actual beginner because I know that when I began, I was having the hardest time trying to get my acrylic application down. It was just not there, you guys. Like I had the hardest time, especially around the Kiroko area. I think that's where we have our hardest times, I would say. Um, because I don't know, for some reason, we're always getting on top of the skin. We, we're just not getting everything down to how it is. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes it goes, you have to practice on your powder to liquid ratios in order for you to get your acry acrylic application right or your cuticle beads right so that you don't flood that area. When you flood that area, that's where you create a whole bunch of lifting and your nails will pop off probably the next day. So yeah, um, I, I would say practice on your powder to liquid ratios first. Trust me, you guys, like trust me. Everything is a process. So pr practice a, a lot on that and then start by, you know, actually doing it on the nails. If you have a practice hand, I really never practice on a practice hand to me that wasn't like a <clears throat> back then we used to have those where i don't know I, i'll put a, a picture somewhere here so you guys know what i'm talking about we back then when i started we used to have those hands and like they weren't even realistic you guys they weren't even like to <sighs> completely honest they weren't even helpful for helpful for me i had one and i never even used it i don't even know why i bought it i remember i used to buy everything off of ebay every um ebay back then was like the sh yeah ebay was where it was at back then okay like if you weren't shopping on ebay i don't know what you were doing because ebay was everything so i bought it off of ebay and to be honest i probably used it like once or twice <clears throat> after that everything else every single practice i would do was on myself i would practice on myself and i would do my nails well nails on my sister and she was like yeah they're cute but you know i knew that they weren't like cute <laughs> but um yeah i would practice on her i would practice on myself mostly on me you guys mostly on me um it was only me 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 and to be honest practice hands weren't even helpful to me so um yeah if you if you know what i'm talking about those weird hands yeah they were so so weird you guys and they weren't really helpful i don't know to me i think there's nothing like practicing on a real hand than a practice hand now even if you have the red iguana one i know i had i have the red iguana one no i, I don't even think i have it no more i think it i think it broke or something i don't even remember what happened to it but i don't have it no more i threw it away um, but I remember buying it um, when the first ones came out and yeah, it was a little different But honestly, like there's nothing like practicing on a real hand a real hand will always be better for you to practice on um, Than a practice hand. I don't know you guys. That's just me Okay, but if it's been helping you and you have the practice hand and you've been practicing and everything you've been doing You've been getting it down girl like Honestly props to you because it was not helpful for me <laughs> So yeah, anyway jumping back onto the video this is where we're going to be doing like a color blocking. So I'm going to be stopping here my acrylic application. Um, and then at the tip of the nail, we're going to be adhering some flowers, some foil, and it's going to look super, super cute. We're going to be doing the exact same thing here on the pinky. Um, so yeah, this is what we're going to be doing. Like I said, only we're going to be doing this only on the pinky. On the middle nail, I already did it on the thumb, so I'm not going to show my thumb. You guys know that pretty much whatever I do on the rest of the nails, pretty much it's on my thumb. So I never show that part unless it's totally different and then I'll show it. But other than that, I just leave it out. So yeah, I'm going to be doing the exact same thing here on the pinky.
So here, I'm just going to go ahead and start by adhering everything that we have. I'm going to be adhering some flowers. I'm also going to be adding some little butterflies, also some foil. Um, it just looks really cute. I've been seeing you, trends always come back, you guys. Like, let's talk a little bit about trends because trends always come back. I've been seeing the, the French tip full of flowers. You guys, this was a trend like three years ago, I want to say, two, three years ago. And um, it looked beautiful and it's coming back. I remember I do have a video on that up on my channel from like two, three years ago. And it's a French tip full of flowers and full of foil. It looked beautiful. Um, so, yeah, I was like, you know what? I want to do it, but I want to do it a little different. How about a color blocking French tip? So this is what we're going to be doing, like I said, um, to adhere it. We're going to go ahead and adhere everything using our crystal clear acrylic. Our crystal clear acrylic will be coming back soon, you guys. I'm not too sure when. Probably around May or June. Somewhere around there, you guys. But yeah, don't it's not gone com it's not gone completely. It'll be back, don't worry. But yeah, we're gonna be using our crystal clear acrylic to adhere that. And then um, just place down your butterflies, your flowers, and your little foil. I just use a little bag just so that everything, you know, just just so that everything is flat on the nail and so we, when we come and file nothing pops up the nail you know what i mean we don't have any issues with our encapsulating so this is where we come to cap of course i'm gonna be using my crystal clear acrylic again this is from my online store it's sold out currently but soon it'll be back in stock not anytime soon but probably in maybe like in two months i don't know you guys i'm still not sure when it's gonna get here <laughs> i'm waiting for it to get here but i'm still not sure when it's gonna get here anyway so i'm also using my glam and glitz monomer i still have a little bit left so i'm using the last bit of it and that's what i'm gonna be doing again this process is um sped up because of course it's just capping the nails so i'm gonna leave you guys to this part and then we're gonna come and file Okay, baby girl, so here I really don't know what happened. I, I really think that I didn't press record or something. I really know what happened uh, or if I lost the clip, I, I don't know. But um, I didn't record the part where I was filing with my hand file. I first began with a 100-100 nail grid file to remove any 
um you know acrylic that might have ran down towards the side walls of the nail or underneath the nail onto the skin and then i do that first to the to all the nails and then i come in with my five in one drill bit uh and just debulk the nails seal the cuticles and pretty much go along the side walls of the nails to make them a little more crisp um, and this is pretty much what I do you guys. So I do have my RPMs here at about I want to say about 16 17 RPMs. I think um, I've been working on my RPMs a little higher now and honestly, I think it's better when you work with higher RPMs if you're more Familiar with a hand drill or with a nail drill. I think that working with higher RPMs is better I don't know you guys. That's just me um, I've been working with higher RPMs lately and it's been a dream. I don't really have to do much to the nail anymore. The drill does it all for me. So yeah, after that I do go in with a 150-150 nail grid file and I'm just going to be removing any like harsh edges that the drill bit might have left behind. And of course we're going to go ahead and buff everything. After we're complete with that or we're done with that, we're going to go in with a lint free wipe and remove any dust particles. Okay, so these nails are going to be shiny, but to begin with, I am going to be doing my index and my ring finger shiny first. For that, I'm going to be using my top coat, which is available on my online store as well. Or I don't know if, or, if it, if, oh my god, if it already sold out, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, this one is from my online store. And I'm going to be doing the top coat first because we are going to be doing a glitter Frenchie or a sugar effect Frenchie. So yeah, I decided to do, to do this first other than, you know, do it later because later it is harder. So I went ahead and added a super thin layer all throughout the nails, cured it in the lamp for about 60 seconds. It all depends on the lamp that you're using. The bigger the lamp, the less time. Um, my lamp is smaller and yes, I was dealing with so many lints here. I don't know what was going on, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so um, my lamp is smaller and it uses uh, more time. So yeah, anyway. Now I'm going to be using my white gel polish. Well, it's my white paint pot, okay? And we're going to be using it to do our Frenchies. So also I'm using my, I think this is my 20mm liner brush. These are available currently on my website as well as the paint pots. So if you guys are, you know, wanting to get some products, these products are bomb. I really tell you they're really good. So I'm going to be doing um, the Frenchie here. Again, it's going to be like a color blocking Frenchie and this one is going to be a little different because we didn't do any color blocking using our acrylic but we're going to be doing it with our paint pot so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do like a space right in the center of the Frenchie uh, and then we're going to go ahead and fill everything out and we're going to go ahead and sprinkle that with a little bit of glitter so one thing I wanted to mention about my paint pots, they are a little bit on the thicker side. Yeah, she's thick girl, like she's really thick. So if you really want a more loose consistent, you can add a couple of drops. You guys, please don't go ham with the alcohol. Just a couple of drops. Like if you can use a dropper, please use a dropper. Um, You can go in with maybe two, three drops of the alcohol mix it around and it'll make it loose um also another thing if you have it stored in a very cold place um that's gonna make the gel very very thick if you have it stored in a place where it's a little more warmer the consistency it's gonna change and it's gonna be a little more loose but if you still see it or notice it that's uh more thicker go ahead and use maybe two three drops of the alcohol 
and then um just kind of stir it around like i said and it'll be a little bit more loose i did that to mine because i did notice that mine was a little more thicker and um yeah i think it really helped out a lot you guys so uh, yeah <laughs> and you guys can see here how it's looking a little funky it's gonna self level i promise and you're not gonna be able to see those little you know like little patches i would say so yeah i'm just making sure that everything is nice and crisp here with my liner brushes and my li liner brushes are bomb.com you guys i love my liner brushes i really really love how thin they are and how easy they make my line work um, it just makes it all better. I oh my god, I'm in love with them So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fill everything out like I mentioned and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Put the little cap back onto my paint pots because I don't want any glitter getting into it and um, We're gonna start to add our glitter. So we're gonna go ahead and sugarcoat this we're going to go ahead and sprinkle glitter all over the nail and then I'm going to go ahead and cure it on the lamp for about 60 seconds. So I went ahead and did the, what's it called, the index as well because pretty much we did the exact same thing here. And I went ahead and did it off camera because, again, it's pretty much the same thing. I didn't want to bore you guys. So now we're going to be doing the exact same thing here on the middle nail and also on the pinky. So we're going to be doing a Frenchie. And like I said, this, this is going to be like a color blocking Frenchie with flowers. I don't even know. How, I don't even know how I'm going to name this video, you guys, or this design because it's so, so beautiful, but yet very... I don't even I can't even find the words to to name this this video you guys but yeah <laughs> um yeah we're gonna be doing the exact same thing and we're not gonna be filling out the bottom part only the top portion and we're this part we're not gonna be sugar coating it you guys I thought that sugar coating it was gonna be like way too much on it so I'm like I'm not gonna sugar coat it no more uh, so I only went ahead and did this like I said just fill out the French part and then after that I went ahead and added some crystals to it and then at the end we are gonna go ahead and apply our top coat
Okay, baby girl. So after we are complete with everything, this is the end design. I really hope you guys like it. Um, I really want to thank everybody here who's been supporting me from the beginning. If you recently just subscribe or whatever it is, you guys. Like, if you're an OG, if you're new, if you're hmm, mid. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, you guys. I really want to thank each and every one of you. If I could, I would go straight to your house, knock on your door, and give you a big hug. Because honestly, without you guys, we wouldn't be here. Without you guys, there's no bomb nails. Without you guys, there's no bomb nail products. Without you guys, there's nothing. And maybe, yeah, I sound like a, I don't know, you guys, like an old record. I really don't know. Disco Rayado, whatever you want to call it. Because I always tell you guys this, but seriously, like, it's, it's so serious, you guys. Without you guys, you guys are the ones who makes us. You guys are the ones who, you know, make, for example, bomb nails. You know, you guys make everything happen. Without you, we're nobody. We're literally nobody. And it doesn't matter if you have 300 subscribers, if you have 1,000, if you have 50,000, if you have 100,000, or if you have a million subscribers. It doesn't matter. We're all equal. We're all the same. And we're trying to, you know, accomplish something whether it's just as a hobby whether it's you know if you're really working hard to actually um make this your job and support your family whatever it is you guys whatever it is that your goal is we're all here for something you know and uh i really appreciate each and every one of you like i really do you guys you guys mean the world to me you guys have no idea when i don't record when i'm not here on youtube and you know I don't know you guys it just feels awkward i'm like you know what i need to record i need to record i can't let my baby girls down like they're waiting for their video they're waiting for me to post like what am i doing <laughs> you know what i mean i really don't want to let you guys down i'm i'm really trying my hardest so yeah baby girls i will see you here on the next one um stay safe god bless and bye bye